On the Build Show today, we're talking plumbing. I'm gonna be reviewing the flavors of PEX piping. We're gonna be talking about Upinor PEX, PEX B and PEX C, kind of all the other flavors. We're gonna review three reasons why I think Upinor is the winner and actually why I've used it to plumb my personal house. Now I'm no plumber, but in my 25 years of home building, I put a lot of plumbing systems in and I've spent a lot of time thinking about this. So I've got three reasons for you today why I think Upinor is the winner. Today's video is sponsored by Upinor. Let's get going. All right guys, so we're talking PEX specifically today. I've put a lot of PEX in my houses, and in fact, probably in the last 20 plus years, I've used PEX almost exclusively on my houses. And there's really two main uh, kind of flavors of PEX, PEX A and PEX B. Now PEX stands for cross-linked polyethylene, and there's really two different ways to manufacture it. Upinor is really the dominant player in PEX A. I'm actually not sure if any other manufacturers make a PEX A. And then PEX B, there's multiple manufacturers. This one I actually just picked up at the local home center, uh, and this is kind of a generic brand, but there are lots of big players in the PEX B market that you would recognize. Now first off, there's three things that are different about these and three reasons why I think specifically Upinor, which is my three quarter red right here, is a little better than the PEX B flavors out there. And the first thing is flexibility. This is a three quarter pipe, which is naturally a little stiffer than half inch pipe. And here's actually some Upinor half inch. Look how easily that pipe moves and bends. It's a really flexible pipe. On the other hand, PEX B, you can definitely bend it but you're using a lot more effort to get a bend out of it. And here's a great example right behind me. We're in my master kitchen right here, and this happens to be the ice maker line. And if you were to look in the ceiling where that line comes from, there's a T in the ceiling, and there's a fitting there, and then that pipe, which happens to be insulated here, this is a half inch uh, Upinor pipe, is snaking all the way through the wall until we get to the shutoff valve at the bottom here. Now, doesn't that remind you a little bit of your wiring in the house? Your wiring kind of snakes around. But if this would have been PEX B, and certainly if it would have been copper or CPVC, I would have had a joint here, and I would have had a joint here before I got there, which means I would have probably had at least double the fittings on that run that I have. Right now, I just have one fitting in the ceiling and one fitting at the end. And that flexibility is what I really like about Upinor's PEX. Now, I did this throughout my house, and several times I remember thinking to the plumbers, man, they are really snaking that through some places. And that's one of the things that I really tasked my plumbers with on this house was I wanted to go as long as possible to take advantage of that flexibility of the pipe and have as few fittings as possible. Now, in full disclosure, I've used a lot of PEX B over the years, and I've had very few fitting failures, but the least number of fittings I can have means the least potential for failure. And that flexibility, I think, is a really big deal. And the last thing about flexibility, especially from a plumber's perspective, that means there's gonna be a little less labor on the job. You know, if I can think about a long run where I can snake a pipe and get it all the way through there in one long run, that means I've got less fittings. And each time I put a fitting in, that's real dollars. These fittings are not inexpensive. A lot cheaper to run straight pipe and not put fittings on it. Plus, every time I gotta put a fitting on, I'm taking a break, I'm cutting pipe, I'm using these crimpers. All these things take time and take money. So if I can snake that flexible Upinor pipe through there and not have fittings, I think it's a total win-win. Okay, next up, freeze protection. It's not totally freeze-proof, but PEX A, Upinor PEX, definitely has the ability to expand and contract because that pipe is flexible. And so this can be much more freeze-resistant than most other flavors out there including PEX B. Now I did a bunch of videos about this in the past. Go, go check those out. Where I put sections of pipe in the freezer, I was never once able to cause a leak in the Upinor because of that expansion ability. So I think that it's not 100%. You definitely still want to protect it. You want to use frost-proof hose bibs. You want to put insulation on it. But if there's going to be an issue that's unforeseen, you're going to be in much better shape with Upinor than all the other flavors out there. And number three, this is the big one, fittings. Let's talk about this for a minute. 
When Upinor fittings are made, this is an expansion system. Let me actually show you how, how we make one. I'm going to cut a little section that's three-quarter pipe, and we'll show you the difference in fittings between Upinor and uh, kind of a generic PEX B system. So there's a little section there. So when you make a fitting with Upinor, you've got an expansion collar, and that expansion collar is going to slip over the end of the pipe, and there's some nubs on the end which stop it. Once you do that, then you're going to grab your fitting, and let's use this, uh, actually I'll, I'll put it on the other side of this one since I've already got one here. You're going to notice in this fitting there's some wings that stick out. Eventually this is going to fit into here as deep as the wings. But here's what I like about this system. This is an expansion fitting. Let me show you how to do it with my little Milwaukee tool here. All I'm doing is throwing in the pipe and making sure that those wings are sunk all the way in. And it's, it's probably hard to see there, but it's just slowly kind of contracting back to its original size. And on these fittings, you're going to notice there's a bit of a barb on there, which is helping to grab on the pipe. And that's making a watertight seal. But what I like about these fittings is not just the expansion, but I think that Let's see if I can uh, actually show it. Let me show you a, uh, here we go. This is an Upinor fitting, and this is a PEX B fitting. A little hard to see, but if you were actually to peer through both of these, you would notice that the Upinor fitting, because it's an expansion, is a wider fitting. They call this a full port fitting. Now, with that being said, let me show you how the PEX uh, B fittings work. Let me cut a little section of this three quarter here. Okay, so this happens to be a brass fitting, and what you're going to notice is this fitting is sliding on with the pipe cold. There's no expansion going on. And then what we're going to do is we're going to use a crimp tool, and we're actually going to crimp it on there. So this crimp tool will work with both three-quarter and half-inch, and I'm going to do this while I'm talking. Here we go. So I'm putting it in there, I'm making sure it's in the right spot. And then I'm going to crimp it, and i got to go until that tool hits. And now that fitting is on there for good. But we need to check to make sure that the fitting was put on correctly. So we're going to use this check tool. And because I can sync that in, I know that that fitting's done. That fitting's not coming off. That is a tight fitting. And as I said earlier, I'm not super worried about leak failures. But if you were to look down that shaft, what are you going to notice? you notice that that fitting fits inside the pipe. So the pipe is actually necking down at the fittings. And here's the part that really surprised me when I pulled my calipers out. Let's get nerdy for one second here. I'm going to set my caliper to inches, and I've got two different flavors of uh, PEX B fittings here. These are crimp on fittings. I've got one that's a plastic fitting, and I've got one that's a brass fitting. Let's check the inside of the fitting. Let's see if I can do this. Uh, on camera. The inside of the plastic fitting, remember this is a three-quarter fitting, is actually 0.48. It's not even a half inch inside there. And now let's look at the brass one. Brass is a little bit stronger than plastic, so they can thin up that wall. This one's 0.56. Nowhere near what you'd expect for a half inch pipe. Now the inside wall thickness of the PEX B here is, let me see if I can get it as accurately as possible, 0.67, which means that when I slide that fitting in there, I'm necking this three quarter down to almost a half inch fitting or a half inch pipe diameter when I go through there. That's not great in my mind. Now on the other hand, let's look at these Upinor fittings. So here's a plastic three-quarter Upinor fitting. And uh, let me flip my calipers around so you can see it. 0.61 is the inside diameter there. And then the three-quarter inside diameter is 0.68. The fitting and the inside are really close. And in fact, it's probably about 10%, maybe as much as 15% 
more capacity through that fitting than the PEX B flavors. That's a really big deal for me. And again, it's because I can't shove this in here without expanding this. I've got to expand the pipe to make it fit. So these fittings here, that's a full port fitting. That's a really big deal. And that's a big reason why I like this Upinor pipe. And the other thing that means is there's no checking to do. I don't need to use this check tool right here. This check tool needs to be used when I'm using PEX B fittings, which are those crimp fittings. There's no tool to use. I can visually look at it and I know that this is correct. I would have never been able to slide my pipe on back to those wings had this not been fully expanded. So that fitting, just with a visual check, I'm good to go. And the last thing I'm gonna say about fittings real quick too is that Upinor makes these multi-port tees and I used a bunch of these at my house in various places. I really like this. When you're using a racetrack design, which is the Upinor logic system basically at my house, for a recirc line, these come in handy. I've got a three-quarter line that's charged with hot and then I can pop off right here to go to various fixtures in my house with this half-inch PEX line. That is a really cool deal. I like these multi-port tees. Now there is, there is three things for you, but I actually have a bonus one for you as well. One thing that can happen with PEX is it's possible to crimp the, uh, the end and, and get a crimp in the pipe. Now this is PEX B, and believe it or not, there's actually no way to fix that and get that crimp out. I can't, I can't do anything to it to do it. That's always gonna be there which means if I had that happen to me in the field, I actually need to cut this out and put a coupling in there. I would want to use a coupling like this to fix that. On the other hand, with PEX A, which is Upinor PEX, if I get a crimp, which is actually pretty hard to do, oh, there we go, I got one. I can fix it, and let me show you how to do it. Let me get that crimp in there real good. All right, look at that. Now, if this was PEX B, I would actually have to toss this uh, or put a fitting on there, but we can use a heat gun to fix it. I'm gonna keep my uh, heat gun up here. I'm gonna show you live how to do this. Okay, so we can actually fix this right here. All we're gonna do is turn our heat gun on, and we're gonna turn this like a little rotisserie chicken here. And in a second here, you're gonna see that red pipe is gonna go clear. And what's happening is from a chemical level, from a chemistry level, we're actually kind of lining up the linkages on that cross-linked polyethylene. And you can actually see that pipe right now expanding back. And we are just as strong as the original pipe after doing this. We've not weakened the pipe in any way, shape, or form by doing this. Oh. Oh. It's gonna be a little hard to see on camera, but you can see if you're right up on it like I am. That pipe is going white where that kink was. Uh, now I bet you can see it. You're starting to see through the pipe. It's becoming kind of uh, translucent. Now, there's almost a little bit of, kind of like a bubble forming right there. So what it's doing is it's realigning all those molecules again. And it's gonna go back to its original shape Okay, that's it. We're just going to let for wait for it to cool down. And believe it or not, that pipe is fixed. And as I said earlier, we are just as strong. We have not weakened the pipe at all. All right, guys, we're going to give that another minute or two, and it's going to come back to its original color and shape. But you can see that kink is gone. It is totally fixed. We cannot do that with PEX B, but with Upinor PEX, PEX A, good to go. Guys, big thanks to Upinor for sponsoring today's video. I'll be honest, uh, I used their competitor, I used PEX B for many, many years, and I liked it, but I think there's a, several advantages that I mentioned today that have kind of tossed me over into the Upinor camp. And if you've not used it, I highly recommend it. Great, great system. And by the way, I've got a video coming up on my house with this layout. This is a set of plans from them, from their engineer, on how to do my house. And as I mentioned earlier, I love that I could reduce the amount of fittings to as minimal as possible in my house. Stay tuned for that video. I'm gonna give you a full tour over here. If you're not currently a subscriber, guys, hit that subscribe button below. We've got new content every Tuesday and every Friday. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Otherwise, we'll see you next time on The Build Show.